Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. I, 19F, found out my dad, 43M, is cheating with our neighbor, 42F. My parents have been married for 20 years and have lived in the same home since before I was born. Their marriage is very good, they rarely fight and regularly go on dates. My dad is a great father and takes very proactive interest in my life, attends most of my school events and provides me everything I want. My dad is an executive, so he is paid well. My mom is a freelancer who works from home. She is a shy and gentle person, so she doesn't have many friends. We have a great family. Our current neighbors, husband, wife Laura, name changed, and their son, moved in five years ago and our families became good friends. We regularly go to dinners in each other's homes and their son is a friend of mine. Laura and my mom go shopping frequently together and she is my mom's best friend. Laura's office is close to my dad's, so they've been carpooling for almost three years. I was fiddling with my dad's phone yesterday and I opened the trash folder of his gallery. There were pictures of my dad and Laura kissing. The selfies were taken in their car, and they are a few weeks old. I was super shocked when I saw them. I have no idea when the affair might have started. I have not seen any changes in him, he is just as caring and loving as he always is. My parents' marriage seems as great as it always was. I've been paralyzed by fear since yesterday. I wish I hadn't found those pictures. I don't know what to do. Should I confront my dad or tell my mum? Or should I not do anything? What will happen to my family? I really need help. Out of respect for my mom I would let her know and she can do what she thinks needs to be done. Your mom deserves to know if nothing else about STDs. Your mom should have the right to make her own decisions, this is all on your dad, not you. Your dad is clearly in the wrong and is sacrificing your whole family by his bad decision. Tell her. Mom deserves to know, regardless of whether she's already aware of it or not. Well, I would take screenshots of the photos and send them to yourself. Show your dad you have them, then tell him that either he tells your mom or you will. It's better if he tells her himself I think. But if he doesn't, most definitely tell her. I may get downvoted to hell for this, but nothing related to your parents marriage or your father's affair is your fault or your responsibility. There are two adults in this situation who are behaving badly and whatever comes of that, is not a weight to be carried by you. I realize you must feel very torn and hurt by all of this. This is just my own humble opinion, but if you feel that you should tell your mom and you feel comfortable doing that, then do so. But if the whole situation gives you crippling anxiety and tears at your heart, you can in good conscience brush the dirt from your hands and let it go. It has nothing to do with you and it's not your problem. If your mom is a good mom, and I'm willing to bet she is, she would never hold the fact that you didn't tell her against you. She will most likely still want you to have a good relationship with your dad, no matter what happens to their relationship, because she will know that his role is so important in your life. Just think about things, and decide what you want or don't want to do. Whatever decision you make will be the right one for you. Tell your mum. She'll feel humiliated if she finds out you knew and didn't say anything. I would forward the pictures to your mum's phone and let her handle it. Tell her but don't forward the pictures. She may not want to see something she can never unsee. If she decides to forgive her husband, she won't want those images in her mind forever. She'll let you or your dad know if she wants to see them. Don't shock her with them. You must tell your mother. She has a right to know. Then ask her about how to tell the betrayed husband as he has the same right to know. You are in a terrible situation and you need to be strong. Do this right away before you lose your nerve. Good luck cop. Absolutely tell your mom. Get the proof first, if you can. Laura's husband has the same right to know that your mom does. Know that your mom and dad will likely work it out. And that your neighbors will likely move as soon as they are able. I'm sorry for what you're going through. 
there is actually a good chance that your parents will grow through this process and your family will be okay. The scars will always be there, unfortunately. But forgiveness is more than possible. Your dad has a lot of makeup to do frown. Get your dad's phone, take the pictures and send them to your phone as evidence. Then you have two choices. 1. Tell your mother and let her make the decision of divorce or working it out to get herself checked for STDs. 2. Go to you Laura. Tell her the affair with your dad is over and show her the picture. Tell her it ends or her husband and your mother will get the pictures. The you go to your dad by himself. Tell him you are a good dad but a shitty husband. Show him the photo and tell him the affair is over or mom get the photo and so does Laura's husband. The shock of their affair being revealed will do one thing for you. Give you the power of your father and Laura. Make sure the photos are also saved in a folder somewhere in the cloud your dad can't get into. This will be your nuclear option. Update, I, 19F, found out my dad, 43M, is cheating with our neighbor, 42F. I sat down with my mom and dad and showed them the pictures. I was dreading this moment for the last few days and I'm so happy that it wasn't what I feared. This was consensual and my mom knew. They've been swingers for the last two years and Laura was the one who introduced them to that lifestyle. The conversation was awkward but we're good now. Turns out that my parents had a better relationship that I thought they did. What a left turn Lamau a happy ending I did not see coming. I bet Laura saw him coming. Yes I see what you did there. Another successful happy ending. Only because she was watching. If I was one of the parents I would both be dying of laughter, and also mildly embarrassed for the inevitable conversation that was about to take place. Glad it all turned out okay in the end though. Dad now you see honey, sometimes mommies and daddies. Op, no. Stop. My line of inquiry has been satisfied. Meeting adjourned. I'll be damned, some people on Reddit had an inkling. From the original thread, third most up votes. Strange question but are you sure your mom doesn't know? Well shit, and someone else mentioned a parent's complimentary thread. I'd be curious AF to see that. A left turn, with Donut Bairns. Yay did not expect that at all. Think this is a first for me. Nasca got nothing on this lefty ha ha. Glad it did turn out well. How did the conversation go? I would love to be a fly in that living room. The one here Laura talked them into swinging? Yeah I wanna hear that convo too. The one here Laura talked them into swinging? Yeah I wanna hear that convo too. Hi, neighbor. I had all this extra squash and thought you might like some, in exchange for any interesting recipes you might have for squash. By the way, ever thought about letting another woman suck your husband's dick? You'd be surprised at how people approach it. My husband is very good looking and is built like a brick poop house. I'm not so bad either. We are not interested in swinging in the least, but have been approached by other couples. One time it was a guy from high school. I knew that I would see him and his wife around the gym that my husband and I go to. I had posted some photos of us at the beach with my husband's kids on Facebook. He then messaged me privately on Facebook and asking how fun my husband and I were. I figured out what he meant fairly quickly and let him know that we were flattered, but really weren't that much fun. LOL. Another one was a guy my husband and I know, explaining his swinging lifestyle to my husband. He would tell my husband literally the craziest ass stories. This went on for a few weeks and then he asked my husband if we'd ever thought about it and whether we'd be interested in hanging out sometime. Um, yeah, no. If that's your thing, great. I don't share well with others, thank you very much. My husband is even worse. We love each other so much and are so goo goo eyed for each other we're just not interested in anyone else. Why would I want a hamburger when I've got filet mignon at home? He then messaged me privately on Facebook and asked how fun my husband and I were. Maybe he just needed two more people for Settlers of Kadan. I don't think so. LOL. He replied to me about how great it can be when you're with the right person. 
Ha, maybe he was talking about settlers of Catan, smiley face. PSHT, then the sneaky person in third slams down the winning guards out of nowhere and nobody is happy. I think the Venn diagram of kinky folk and board game slash RPG players, as adults, is very near a circle, smiley face, I've been roped into more than a few gaming groups I know so many poly, swingers, and people in open relationships from it. So I say Catan and swinging. I think most WoW players are thirsty, but I don't think that's the same thing as what you're talking about. No no. Darling, you have to kiss him like this. Well this story took a turn, or should I say swing, I'm sorry couldn't help it but I'm glad that this turned out well. I've always waited for one of these to happen. Where it looks like a partner is cheating, but when the other partner is informed, they respond with a yeah, we're polyamorous slash swinging. Had it happen Earl. Friend's daughter came home from high school early her senior year. She caught her mother giving oral to their family friend. Drama ensues. Daughter storms out. Later friend and her husband explain they have an open marriage. Daughter finishes high school a few months later, movies out to go to college, gets married, and has a baby. She hasn't spoken to her parents in years. Wow. How sad. She hasn't spoken to her parents in years. That's really sad. She just straight up ditched them because she couldn't cope with their relationship? Or was there more to it? Yeah. I can see that. Being open is one thing, but walking in your parents doing someone else, just no. There are some things you should never have to see. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.